Hey guys, Chris here with Bartlett Arborist Supply, coming at you with an informational video. Make sure after you're done watching, you jump on BartlettMan.com, check out all the gear, we got lots. So today, we're gonna traverse out this limb, grab some dead wood, and um, biggest problem I see out here today is a lot of guys overloading limbs and not keeping their weight in the rope. So we're just gonna kinda discuss some basic stuff to get out there, pretty simple. If you've ever been in athletics, you know that a lower stance, lower center of gravity is more of a power area. So if you were standing straight up, somebody came and pushed you, you'd probably fall over. So that's what we're gonna apply here. As we traverse out the limb, the idea is to try and stay as low as possible during the traverse and keeping your weight in the rope, as opposed to standing straight up and having all of our weight on the limb, which could cause a failure. It's definitely what we don't want. Farther out on the limb I traverse, I try and keep more and more weight into the rope, use sections, limbs, stubs, even toe hooks to kind of force my weight into the limb and into my rope as opposed to pushing down and overloading the limb. So as I go out, if I'm keeping my body weight dispersed, I can actually raise the limb to a higher point than where it was originally under its own weight, which is gonna allow me to get farther and farther out. So we're keeping max tension here, leaning way over. And then that limb draws up nice and tight. We can get out here, get rid of this little bit of dead wood. Head on back. We're gonna repeat the process as best as possible. So we're going to put our body weight back into the rope and not push down. If I was to stand up, this limb would start getting pretty sketchy. So we're gonna just try and manipulate a little bit of tension at a time Spread our body weight out. Traverse back to a safe point. Return to the point of origin. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check out BartlettMan.com. Climb on.